Today we're looking at a variety that a lot of people know already. It's called Granny Smith. I mean, you see these in supermarkets the uh, world around. So this thing started way back when in the 1800s in Australia, down under country. And it is a apple that actually to be ripe has to grow a long time. Uh, here in Iowa, we can't actually properly ripen a Granny Smith apple. That may not be a problem because the thing about Granny Smith is it's an apple that is almost 100% of the time picked severely underripe. It's a green apple, as you can see. You know, a Granny Smith in the supermarket will look like that. It's green. Well, that apple actually fully ripe will have quite a bit of red blush to it. And it'll, it'll still be tart. Granny Smiths are known as a baking apple. They're known as a tart apple. But part of the reason it's so tart when you buy them from the supermarket is they're picked easily a month to a month and a half before they should be picked. So for us here in Iowa, a properly ripened Granny Smith is probably going to pick that first or second week in November, whereas in supermarkets, they will often be picked in late September because retailers want a fully green apple. They do not want the red on a Granny Smith apple. So there you go. So Granny Smith is a great choice for baking purposes because it does have a lot of inherent tartness, even ripe it does. There are a lot of other apples that I would bake with before Granny Smith, but this is what we got. So let's give it a go. So the first thing you notice when you bite into this apple is intense sourness. <laughs> but alongside that, because this thing is still a month and a half to two months away from ripe, you get a lot of starch. You notice the skin is thick. It's got quite a thick peel on it. Um, but I mean, honestly, it tastes like a really green apple, green in the sense of underdeveloped apple. Um, but that is the Granny Smith that we get out of the supermarkets. For us, we would love to ripen these things on the tree. The unfortunate thing is, is that in our UPEC operation, a lot of people see a green Granny Smith and they think, oh, that's a Granny Smith, looks ripe to me, let's pick it. And that happens. So whether in the supermarket or here, people tend to get a Granny Smith that looks like that and tastes like that. 